What is going on, guys? Today, I have a Minecraft video for you, but it is not the usual. Like, I'm going to be a, uh, doing a tutorial on a uh, wishing fountain that I have created, and it's pretty simple. The redstone is all down here. And yeah, it's basically randomized what, whether you'll get the water or not. So I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate how it works. So um, I'll take this dispenser, drop it in, and so you'll see it travel through the hoppers, and then this should dispense. Yep, and it goes away, and then actually wait, that that's not gonna work with the cactus. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Let me just, I thought it was working. It was not. Let me... Simple solution. Maybe a little bit dangerous. Just don't build it out of anything flammable. You'll be good. Uh, there we go. There you go. Now, as you can see, it's activated. So you're going to see the item go through powers and then it should and then it'll turn back on because it got lucky whoa yeah okay there we go okay so um that's basically how it works we're going to begin this by just, um, we're gonna start with the fountain design, which is easy, and you can change it up however you'd like. So, we're going to grab this, and I need some of, nope, that's not what I need, um, where's the block? Maybe actually, yeah, okay, I don't even need that. So we're gonna build it right here, and I'm just gonna build a few blocks high in the sky, so we have lots of room. So, what it's gonna be is it's five stair or five uh, stairs with slabs on top, and one block with a slab on top. So, let's begin by just going one, two, three, four, five. Break that. We can add a little bit of mossy stone brick in there and then um should be like this do that and then we're gonna go like get this and then this and then that five and then boop and that should be good and then we can go like this 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 And then, oh, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> oh, that's not how that's supposed to go. No, no lava. Well, not yet, at least. And then this should finish it off. So now we're just going to uh, place some slabs along the top. So, whoa, like that, whoa, okay, so we have the base of the uh, fountain done, let me come over here, grab some hoppers real quick, so what we're going to need a new to do uh, now is for now, seeing as we don't have the redstone done, what we're gonna do is go like this, like this, and then down one. That's the center, correct? Um, actually, it's not gonna be in the center. Let's just have like the one right here. Be it. So you're gonna want all of your um hoppers to go into each other now. Which, this may take a little while, and if you're doing this in survival, um, it's gonna be a lot of hoppers. 
we can always make the fountain a bit smaller, even though I think it looks better the bigger it is. So let's just go like this. All around. Fill in this little area. Okay. And we also have to remember that the center is not gonna have to be filled in with hoppers because it's gonna be where the actual fountain is. So I believe the center is here. Yep. So. Yep. Okay. Let me just build up like this. And, um, what do we have here? We have the hoppers. The hoppers are on. Are they below the stairs? Did I put them one too high? I think I put them one too high. Yeah, I did. Okay. When, if I fill in all the hoppers, I'll be back. Okay guys, I filled in uh, all the hoppers, so now we're just going to place some uh, slabs in, and we can mix in a few mossy slabs to make it uh, feel a little bit older. So just go like this, all around, and then, oopsie daisy. Almost done. there. Okay, there we go. So this is what your uh, fountain should be looking like with one hopper uh, going into this block and all the other hoppers um, just going into it. And there we go. Now we can have a hopper below it. Sorry if you hear any background noise, by the way. Um, so what we're going to do now is go like this and then like this, 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 and try to keep this hollow because it will end up making your design um, simpler to make. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna do it all out of stone brick for here, and then I'll uh, add more detail after. Well, actually, I, I lied. I just 
did the uh, stormwork right there. So small brain lies. Dang. Bring it all the way around. She got that formation. Which is a mix of all of those. And if we come over here, you can see that we have one of those. And we just gotta put a thing here. There we go. So this is how it should be looking. It's looking really good. So now you want to... Uh, let me just grab try this. And we're going to want to grab a water bucket, and um, we'll have it ready for when we end up needing it, which may be very soon. So, if we dig out this... Actually, that one block is okay. You can stay. Because this will be like this. And then this. And then when it gets powered, it will push this up. Which will power... Did I do it wrong? May have done it a bit wrong. So let's just... Uh, take this out. Come on. So if we check inside, oh, okay, so we just have that one there, and then the rest. So none of this. So this, which should be powered. That. And then, I need a dispenser. Spencer, here we go. Okay, so there, and that will do your powering, and we can just put the water bucket in there. So we have the actual design done, which is probably the simplest part. Well, for me, it was the simplest part, mainly because redstone is a lot harder, in my opinion, than building. So. Now all we have to do is just um, bring this hopper down into, we can literally just have it go right there. And then we need a dispenser, and it doesn't matter which way you face this, as long as you, uh, well, it doesn't matter um, which way you face it, if, if, um, your surrounding area is all good no matter what. But most of the redstone is going to end up being um, on the, the back side of it. Well, that's not what we want. Ugh. Dispensers are, are just working with redstone components like this. It's always annoying. Okay, so let's do this. Now we have a block to stand on. So. Um, wait, let me grab actual blocks now. So, let's bring this around so we have some space. There we go. And we're not really going to need these, so we can just drop those out of your inventory now. And you're going to need to grab some repeaters, some comparator, oh. Uh, some comparators. Nope, don't do that. Okay, and, um, redstone dust, redstone torches. And we can grab all this stuff later. Well, actually, all I need now is a redstone block, so I might as well. So, we're gonna have a redstone... We're gonna have some power of the redstone, uh, coming out of here. Let me get all my components up here. I'm not going to need another one of these for a little bit. And this, and this. So, therefore, it actually has a signal strength. So, let's send that signal back into it. 
And then what we also need to do, as you can see over here, it goes back in. Um, and then we also need to create the next part of this. So, let's go like this. Oh, that's not good. Okay, if that's deactivated, then you know you've done it right. And we don't want any of these getting locked up, but I believe they should be okay. Yeah, okay. So, now that we have this, we're going to send the signal um, around here. And we're just going to send it into this block. No, let's, let's, not, let's not have that um, go like that. All, we can have the lava block ready. Mm -hmm. Literally just go like this. So if we just simply um, have it go like that. There we go. Oh, no, we have to have this coming out of here. Okay, this goes here. This goes there. There. So, now when you put something in, it should... Did it go down? Or did it get stuck somewhere? Let's see. Okay, that's not stuck, that's not stuck. Okay, well, this time I'm gonna remember which block, actually. Okay, let me grab this. Okay, this time I'm gonna remember which one I threw it on, and that would be this one. Okay. Ooh, but nothing happened. Was it too quick? Maybe if we, uh, send this out here. Then... Have that there. There. Okay. And go. So this one goes into this one, which 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 goes into this one. This one, Oh. Yeah, we cannot have that going on. As you can see, I had two hoppers going into each other, and that ended up just breaking it. There we go. Why did this... Oh, wait. Is our water bucket up here? I'm just gonna break this all down for now. That. If it 
it broke itself. Um, do this. We'll, we'll just have it blocked up for now. Okay, that works. We don't need none of that piston contraption. Don't do any of that. Okay, so, now, if we test this, hopefully. Is the signal not going through this block? Okay, there we go. It actually worked that time. Which is what we wanted, if you didn't know. So, we have, over here we have the signal going back in, which is done. We have to have the signal that goes around to act to dis deactivate this torch. But then we also want um, a loop. But, uh, like this. So what it's going to be is, you're going to put, um, actually, let, let's extend this out one. You're going to put this right here, and you're going to have some repeaters going like this. You're going to put them both on four ticks, like all four of them, and then you're going to have one right here, redstone, redstone. Um, and this is so that we can have, um, this little contraption, which is, um, the deactivator of, oh, one, one small, of the whole thing. So when this gets powered, um, this makes it so it cannot be activated. So what we're going to be doing with this is... As you can see over there, there's a um, T flip flop which goes into this, which is from uh, an Etho clock. So it goes into the T flip flop, which will make it so that every other time it gets uh, activated. And a T flip flop is basically like if you have a lever, or uh, not a lever, if you have a button and use a T flip flop on it. Um, it can be turned into basically the functionality of a lever but as a button. So what we're gonna be doing is having this go like this and that. And so um we gotta have this and I do I think it's meant to be going this way. Nope. And then, um, for the last bit of it, we need Okay, so for that, we're gonna have block redstone there, that there, that there, and the piston extended. So we want that there, there. So, this will be the, uh, t this is the T flip flop part. Now we just have to hit, uh, hook up an eco clock to it. So, as you can see over here, we have the, yeah, okay, that's looking all good. So, for this, we're just going to have, I'll start with the part that powers it, which is the comparator, which will be going like this, and this, which will have a redstone block right there, which should power that. Oh, it should be going like this. There we go. Yep. Wait. I mean, that works. That works too, if you want. So, we have 
this and this. And now we just have to get the, pos the positioning of the ether clock correct. So, there should be a redstone torch here. It's hard to remember these things, but if you make it over and over again, like, it'll be ingrained in your head. Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm going back and forth so much. So that should be below. Is that correct? Oh no. There should be a block here. Which is that. There we go. That's what was needed. Hmm. Wait, maybe it, the order in which I place them depends. So let's start with this. Nope, no matter what. Apparently that's going to be deactivated. And this will be the power source for this piston. And we should have another piston right here and then um this is when we're gonna need hoppers again just for the simple etho clock so bring this up um get a little platform to stand on so you're gonna go like this and like this make sure that you have both hoppers running into each other and that is the part that will really power it. And then, hmm, did I build? Did I position it wrong? Oh yeah, I definitely did. Sorry, y'all. Should have a comparator going like this. This. And then above the comparator, that's where the piston goes, correct? Um, yeah, okay. Where is this? Where am I? Okay. So, here's the comparator. Gonna grab our sticky piston. We'll pop that there. Do I have this facing the wrong way? And then, um, need this going that way. And we just gotta copy this onto the other side. So, grab your blocks and have the comparator running out. Block there. There. Correct. there any more that we need to add? Nope. So, this should all be ready, except for one thing we need to add to the ether clock, which is your blocks. You're going to put however many you want in, and it's going to shuffle through, and then it's going to switch, and then we're going to wait again, and then when it switches, hmm, do I have this wrong? Okay, now we'll see how this works out. How long does this one take? Okay, so the this thing should be running into there we go okay so that that powers that and that makes it so that that cannot be powered and that and that adds like the randomized part of it and now you should have your fountain so just chuck something in and it should go through eventually 
Yep. And then it went through twice, so the thing is going to be activated, but then also deactivated. I, it's always the best when it gets activated and deactivated. And, yeah, that's basically the whole fountain. Uh, it's a bit destroyed now because of the whole water part. But that's what your fountain should look like in the end. And, um, if you enjoyed the video, um, please consider subscribing and like the video. And, yeah, so I'm gonna thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you guys all later. Also, I probably, maybe I'll have a video out uh, in the next three days. If not, there definitely won't be an, a video for about another week. Because I'm going on vacation. So, uh, please excuse that. But thank you guys all for watching. See you guys all later. Adios.